on YouTube. Thank you for checking my channel, Merging Timelines. I'm Melanie, and today I'm doing a daily spread. It's February the 22nd, and this daily spread is going to be for Virgos, Sun and Moon. So on this channel, I'm going to be reading for the Sun and Moon signs. Um, I feel like I personally resonate from that place, um, those two places in my chart, and those are the ones that I'll be reading for on this channel. So sun and moon for my Virgos. I've been doing earth signs today. I think that's all I'm going to get through today is the earth sign. But thank you for watching the channel. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe, please. Thank you. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really, 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 really do appreciate it, Virgos. Uh, you guys are so awesome. And let's see what we have for you. So my Virgos are thinking about taking a journey and kind of, I see you getting ready to walk away from something, take, you got your book bag, you got your stuff packed, you're, you're thinking about walking and taking this journey somewhere. This is for my Virgos. Sorry Virgos, that one came out in a bunch, so I'm going to throw those back in. Um, this lady seems very determined, Virgo, and I, you guys do have the tendency to get that way when you feel frustrated within, and I was just going to say that, is that something within your soul, within your heart, within yourself is becoming very frustrated about something in your environment, and it's making you feel like you just want to walk away. This is for my Virgos. Thank you, spirit guides. This is for my sun and moon signs. Sun and moon. I feel like you've just had it. The person, this lady is always looking so mad, so frustrated. And I don't even feel like you're really showing anybody this, Virgo. I feel like you're just dealing with it. You have the six of swords. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. At this moment... You're probably desiring to move to something calmer, something more smooth and easygoing. And yeah, you're, you're just wanting to move to something that's easier for you, that's um, more familiar, I guess, more... Um, and this person has their child, so I think that maybe there are some kids involved. Or if there's not kids, then you're just picking up your own stuff and you're like, that's it. I've had enough. I'm frustrated. I don't even feel like this makes me feel whole within. And I'm still questioning this connection, this job, so I'm ready to pack up and move. Right? And that's for my Virgos. Virgo, I feel like you're dealing with someone who can't be trusted, whether this is you or um, another female. Nope, sorry about that. It's not that this person can't be trusted. It's that there's an extreme imbalance here. There's something so unjust and just un unbalanced. It's not right. It's not something it, that would be seen as equal in society, right? If we could put this up here on a wall or on a picture frame, you would be like, this is, everyone be able to notice that this is so imbalanced. But I feel like you're dealing with it within. You're not even looking at everything else. You're just trying to deal with this on your own. And you're not communicating to anyone else. Um, I do see in the future that because you feel frustrated, you're just going to end up not wanting to put effort into this anymore, this connection, this job. You're not going to want to take the time to... Um, invest in something. The Eight of Pentacles does represent something that you put a lot of work and effort into, but at this time, I don't even think you care because you have the Three of Wands in your environment. So you're like, I'm out of here. They can have it. I'm frustrated. I just want to walk away and begin something new or just move to something calm where I can only think about myself. I don't have to worry about others. That's the energy that I'm getting from this reading, Virgo. Okay, this is for my sun and my moon signs for Virgo. Oop, there goes your advice. So the advice is that you see something for what it is, right? And I feel like in the past there were a lot of options for you or for someone else or you did have these um, kind of 
clouded thoughts. But I think at the moment, you see something for what it is. And you're ready to move to something calmer. You know, something that's more easygoing, that would fit you and feel so familiar and comforting, right? I'm going to get my clarifiers. We did our six-card spread. And let's see. I'm going to cut the deck and get the energy at the bottom so that we can clarify this spread for you. Okay, Virgo? Thank you for visiting my channel, Merging Timelines. Um, please like, share, comment. Please give me feedback, guys. And please, if you're still interested in personal readings, they're free. So please check my information box below. You'll see my email address. It's Merging Timelines at Yahoo. So please uh, shoot me an email, and I'd be very, very honored to be able to connect and tap into your energy with you, okay? Thank you so much for the time that you have spent with me reading this or watching this. All right, so <clears throat> two more. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you so much. Can't do this without you. So we're going to <clears throat> my Virgos. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment. Again, someone's walking away from a connection here. Someone really, really wants to just pack up and leave and move on. Move on to better, calmer things. Because they're frustrated within. They're just, they've had it. They're, they're, ugh. They're frustrated. Nine of Cups. Okay, so lack of emotional fulfillment. It doesn't even make you happy. It doesn't even fulfill you. Okay? There's a falling out of a connection here. There's um, there's the need for someone to walk away is because someone is feeling disconnected. They don't feel like they resonate with someone anymore. They don't feel like they're connected with someone anymore. So they're walking away. I feel within, even though you're frustrated, you're ready to take a risk. I don't feel like it's with this person again. I feel like you're wanting to start something new. You have the Six of Swords as your influence. So you're ready to just move to something calmer, you know, and, and, and that's it. You, you don't even want to think about it anymore. <clears throat> the lovers, right? So maybe if you're not already seeing the better potential, you're feeling like there is better out there. Like you, you're desiring this equal give and take if you don't see it, right? <coughs> Sorry. You could know this person or you could just be desiring to move away because you know that within you're worth an equal give and take. You're worth um, reciprocation. So let's see why. What's imbalanced here? There's something that's being hidden from you, <clears throat> Virgo. I feel like there's something that you don't even know about this situation, and that's what's making um, things feel imbalanced. Somebody keeping something from you. There's a falling out. There's a disconnection. There's um, the desire to walk away, but someone's hiding something, Virgo. I don't know what it is, but someone's hiding something. <clears throat> but in the future, <clears throat> I don't even think you care. You're closed off to this connection. You have the two of wands. You 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 don't want to put effort into it. And then on top of not wanting to put effort in it, you don't even want to hear about it anymore. Like you've lost the passion and you don't feel grounded and stable in it in the future. And your advice here is to end something. You've got the death card on top of the seven of cups. So after seeing something clearly, your advice after you see something for what it is, just end it. You know, you have this, this need to let go. Allow the new to come in because I do see that you're, you're feeling right now, Virgo, as if you're actually worth <laughs> this equal give and take. And of course you are. Like, why wouldn't you be? You know, why wouldn't you deserve someone who wants to give to you? You know, and so let's see what's on top of the deck. <clears throat> There's the page of swords reversed. 
with the Elder of Cups mm. and the Knight of Pentacles. So, long story short, Virgo, <clears throat> I do see that if this person was trying to communicate to you, I don't think they are. I think that they're holding back. There's the Page of Swords here, which means that they're not even willing to give you what you want to hear. They're not even willing to tell you the truth. They're not willing to tell you what you want to hear about something. I feel like someone's asking for the truth in something. And someone is clearly holding back with this moon card reverse. Just keeping secrets. And that's what's making this feel very imbalanced for you, Virgo. So, um, <clears throat> I do feel, Virgo, that you're embodying this sort of cup energy where you feel very mature about your emotions, very mature about your capability of offering love to someone. I think at this time, you're just wanting it to be given back to you equally, 11-11. Wow. So, uh, that was pretty, that was really awesome, actually. Um, you decided to take off and start from you know, like start towards something that is more grounded and stable for you. This is your own energy, Virgo. This is you right here, the, the Knight of Pentacles. And so you're getting back to yourself. You're getting back to who you are. And that is awesome. That <laughs> What more could you ask for, you know? So anyways, Virgo, I really enjoyed this reading. I hope that you did. If you um, like my readings, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, give my contact in information to another person, please. I would greatly appreciate it because I love reading and I'm offering free personal readings. And um, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much again for watching the video. Have a great day.